I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on rate of change. This is also going to help the students who are taking up calculus. The question here is, the speed versus time graph shows segment from 2, 3 to 7, 5. The units for vertical axis are meters per second. If the object whose speed was being graphed is 8 meters away, from the point from which measurements are made at t equals to 2 seconds, how far away is the object at t equals to 7 seconds? Four options are given to us. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now, in such questions, it may be of an advantage to sketch the scenario, right? So, so let us sketch the information in the form of a graph. So it says speed versus graph. So we have speed versus time graph, right? So we have speed on one axis. And since we are given units of vertical axis as meters per second, this is meters per second. That means this is speed, right? So let's call this as speed. And uh, versus time graph. So this is time. Time is in seconds. Now we have, we have an object that moves along the segment from 2, 3 to 7, 5, right? So, so let us say this is, uh, let's make a scale here. So let's say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? So, so from 2, 3, so let's have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So when the object moves from location 2, 3, that means 2 is right there and 3, 1, 2, 3, so it is this position. From 2, 3 to 7, 5, so this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 5 is, this is 3, and this is 5 for us, right? So, so kind of like this, right? That's, so object moves from this to that position. This is from 2, 3 to 2, 7, 5. Right. The units for vertical axis meters per second, if the object whose speed was being graphed is 8 meters away from the point, so initial distance is 8 meters. So we are given initial distance. Equals to 8 meters. Away from the point from which the measurements are made at t equals to Two seconds. So at this time, the object is eight meters away from the point from where the measurements are being taken. How far away is the object at t equals to seven? So we have to find the distance of the object at t equals to seven, right? So that's what it is. So clearly, the distance here is initial distance plus the distance move, right? So so the total distance. is equals to initial distance plus the distance traveled or distance move right now we know the initial distance is 8 how much did the object move during this time from 2 to 7 seconds this is what we need to figure out now if you're given speed and distance graph then the distance can be measured by finding area under the curve, right? So we can find the area under this curve. This area really represents the distance. Okay, so let's find the area under the curve. Uh, you could also do using the relation distance of speed into time, right? Okay, so this area could be divided into two parts, rectangle area, right? We call this as A1, and A2, the triangle area, correct? Okay? So let's calculate these areas. So from here, we know A1, the area of this rectangle is, we have five units, seven minus two, that is five units, and this is three units, correct? So five into three, A2, the area of the triangle is half of base, which is five times height. So this height is three to five, it is two units, correct? times 2. 
So 5 into 3 is 15 and that is 2 and 2 cancels you get 5 correct. So it is area is 20 correct 20 meters. So now we know that the initial distance is 8 meters plus 20 meters and that gives us 28 meters correct. So that is how you could find the answer. So option C is the correct option. So in such questions you can visualize the situation. Area under the curve which is speed distance, a speed time curve. Distance is given by the area. This is important to remember. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.